<laughs> Yuya has forgotten how to be a YouTuber, so I will take over for now. We can still like to do our makeup or to do our nails or to do girl stuff and can still be smart and do technical things. Microsoft glasses. Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna go back to some of my old style videos and we're gonna do a day in the life. However, it's a little different because it's a day in the weekend life of a data scientist, which may have nothing to do with data science. But um, I asked you guys on Instagram what kind of videos you wanna see. And you mentioned that you would like to see more vlogs as well, um, like in between the more uh, educational videos. So I'm gonna take you along on a day in the weekend. My best friend has come over to visit, so it's gonna be a really fun day. We're gonna do some cooking and we're gonna build a pillow fort and we're gonna watch a bunch of Netflix. So I hope it's gonna be a lot of fun and might as well film it. So I hope you like this video and I'll see you later. All right, so first off, we're gonna be cooking. I'm going to be preparing a traditional Romanian recipe, which is actually my favorite food, but I've never cooked it myself before, so I hope we don't burn down the house. So we're gonna be making a whole chicken in the oven with rice and vegetables and a lot of herbs. But first, we're gonna be making cocktails. <laughs> Can you stop? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Hello everyone. Emma happens to be here this weekend. She's my best friend. You may have seen her in the London vlog I did like a year and a half ago. So Emma and I actually went to the same bachelor in Maastricht. So we both studied data science for about a year and then you transferred somewhere else. Uh, so I thought it would also be fun to just talk a little bit about maybe our degree or data science in general or try to make it a little bit educational while we do our nails. So that's a great combination. You know, you can be a data scientist and you can have fabulous nails. So that's what we're gonna do and we'll see if any of this footage is usable. <laughs> Let's go! So Emma. How did you, why did you choose to apply to a data science degree? Um, so I did my high school in France and I did the math and physics uh, track. Um, and then I kind of started looking at what I like to do and I really wanted to do physics, but I didn't want to be a physics teacher or do research. So I figured that might not be like going into pure physics, sure. it might not be something for me, not very applicable to the working world. You kind of look like a physics teacher though. <laughs> Watch me end up being you a could, physics teacher. You could pass off as a physics teacher. Sure. Yes. Right. I, I'm very good with kids. I'd be great as a teacher. <laughs> Anyhow, so I kind of started looking at things that had math in it, and I'd never really done programming before, but I was kind of just looking around at what degrees were available. And Masicht was one location wise that wasn't too far away from where I lived, it's like a three, four hour drive. Mm -hmm. So for Europe, that's not too far to get to another country. I mean, somewhat similar. So I'm from Romania originally, so I also applied to Maastricht University from abroad. 
Um, and I also did studies of like math and programming a little bit in high school, so yeah. it was the, the technical track. You had more experience already with programming than I did, yeah. for sure. So in, in high school, we learned how to program in Pascal and in C++. Um, so then you kind of have the basic understanding of how it works and it's easier to learn another language if you already know some of it. But then yeah, I also really like the math part and that's why I wanted this degree rather than just a computer science degree because it had like a combination of it. So um, yeah, and it was really interesting when we joined, there weren't that many girls actually. No, well it was a record girl year. Yeah, that's true. Because years before us, I think two years before there was one girl <laughs> yeah, that stayed or something. Yeah, and they also had years when they had no girls in the degree at all. So we were like... 20 girls, I think. Over a class of 100, I think. Yeah, so that's yeah. 20% was, it was kind a of a high yeah. percentage. For them, it was like, who? But yeah, that kind of um, sucked that there's not that many girls to do it. I don't know if it's because you didn't do something technical in high school already, so it's too late, or um, you don't think it's like the right degree for you, or whatever it is. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, out of the girls that were there, I think the ones who stayed were like really good. Yeah. Like we had an honors program, there was like 15 people and out of those 10 were girls. So, you know, out of the 20 that started with, so the ones who were there were like really good at yeah. what they did. So, it's good to know. That's true. Yeah. And then you see, this is kind of why I wanted to do our nails while we discuss it because people think that if you're a girl who gets into data science or into computer science or into stuff like that, then you're not really that girly anymore or you have to be one of the guys but I think that's like really stupid like we can still like to do our makeup or to do our nails or to do girl stuff and can still be smart and do technical things very true even though I stopped after a year <laughs> yeah <laughs> still but, very true so so yeah why what made you stop the degree and why did you transfer to logistics well, um, I think for me, the math part was very interesting, and I think I did relatively okay at the math part. I think for me, the issue, I'd call it, would be the programming. Um, as much as I thought I would enjoy it and it'd be like nice for me and stuff, um, I didn't get into it as much as I should have from the beginning. Yeah. Um, so even though the degree started with, you could, have st you could start it with no knowledge of programming whatsoever mm -hmm. before, if you don't really get into it, it's, kind of, it's, it's learning a new language and I just didn't get into it from the beginning. So at some point I was so far behind that anything that was introduced, I couldn't build it up on what we should have known. So I kind of got stuck behind and I couldn't do anything about it. So I was failing all the programming classes. <laughs> so that was very fun. Also, because I think for me also it was too theoretical. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a hands-on person and doing it. Although programming is very hands-on because you have to do it yourself when it's trial yeah, and error. but like actual hands. Yeah, but like, I mean, I couldn't connect it to real life situations and stuff. I think that was the issue for me. And I started to think also about what I wanted to do because I didn't want to do programming anymore. Obviously. Uh, but I'm still a very like logical and like, I like my things to be squared in boxes structured. and like structured. Uh, and like optimized and just nice so I started looking into what I could do so yeah so for me it wasn't really a I mean it was a big deal I had a hard time <laughs> not gonna lie it was the first time in my life that I ever failed at anything <laughs> yeah and that's that's really tough but then if, I feel like if you don't fail it means you're just choosing to do things that are simple and that you're yeah, good at that's and then true too. that's also not very good at least now you really know what you want to do and yeah. you found a better study no for sure you failed at the end. <laughs> yeah so that was a hard time for a while um, because I didn't really know what to do. I thought my life was over um, and that I was a failure for everyone could see it and that did not feel nice. Yeah, that's what we all thought. Yeah. That's what we were just saying behind your back. Oh my God, that Emma is like failing at everything. I don't know how she lives with herself. No, we were like, I think we were trying to be supportive about well, it. Yeah, yeah, but it was like I we had mentors at school and yeah. I went up to him at some point and had a full breakdown and the poor guy, he had no idea what to do with me. <laughs> he was like a classic programming teacher, right? Yeah. So they're not the most emotionally aware people. So he was just like, oh, you're crying. Uh, yeah, well, also I'm not really good you? with emotions anyway. Uh, like I don't really show them. <laughs> so so he, I don't think he expected that from me and I just had a full on breakdown in his office and he was just like, it's gonna be okay <laughs> and I was like I know just not now yeah. and then I came back to you guys and you could tell I had a breakdown but like nobody wanted to ask me questions <laughs> so that was a fun time uh, but then I found I started so I started looking around and 
I found a logistics degree, which was um, something that really interested me because it's all about improving processes and making everything optimized. And it's still, if you go more into operations and that kind of stuff, then you really have to use your math skills as well. And it's a lot of Excel use. <laughs> I'll give you that. What? Excel. Excel. Microsoft Excel. You know, that Microsoft? thing. Microsoft? No, yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, but that's something that I really like. So now I'm really happy. I got my bachelor's. So it's in four years, uh, which is longer than a academic God, who's here? Julia, we're not expecting anyone. <laughs> okay, we interrupt this schedule for package delivery. Oh yeah, because it's almost Christmas. Oh. I think I know what it is. Well, maybe it says it on here. No, I don't. Oh yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. Wait, I need to film it from this angle. It is just a casual bottle of champagne because we can't have. Um... Oh, oh it's like Christmas party! Oh, that's so cute. That's yeah, because they canceled our Christmas party because of Corona, so now we can all have. Oh, yeah, you're having a thing on the December 11th. Yeah. But yeah, thanks, guys. Aww, that's so just cool. Just random interruption. <laughs> to... What champagne did he get you? It's like Microsoft glasses. Or, um, somewhere in I chose logistics, but I don't yeah. remember. But we did, it had a lot of Excel and stuff. Yeah, and you're very happy with it now. Yeah. You said you didn't like the programming so much, but you liked the math. And like yeah. the data science degree is kind of math, programming, and kind of some AI concepts. Mm -hmm. Just like that people even understand what data science is, if that's something that is for you or not. So if you really like math, that really helps with the statistics part. Yeah. and linear algebra and those kind of things that are the theory behind the model. So if you want to understand how the machine learning models work, the math really helps. And then you need the programming to be able to put it into practice. Although the programming we did at university was Java and I have not used Java since. Like you only yeah. use Python or R for data science, but I guess you just need to learn a language to make your brain start. To yeah, it's just making good. the mechanisms and the connections in your brain, I think. Yes. Yeah. Like the logic behind it is pretty similar, I think. Yeah, like once you know a programming language, it's easier to jump from one to another. Probably. <laughs> Not that I know, but probably. Wearing <laughs> ballet slippers by Essie. The iconic shade that's basically white, but a little pink. Yeah, isn't that the one that like the royals wear? Yeah, I think Meghan cool. Markle can have three types of nail polish. And yeah, that's one. I mean, not, no, not anymore, probably. Probably not. So. And I'm choosing between these ones. They're so different. I don't know how I'll pick. They're all so different. Okay, nails done. Let's do the reveal. This is my nails. This is Emma's nails. <laughs> it's very close. Yeah, this was us doing nails. So now we're gonna watch uh, Twilight, probably. <laughs> and then we're gonna play some board games in the evening. And that's... Uh, Almost the weekend gone. Yeah. Yay. So high energy. Woo! <laughs> Pillow fort achieved. Oh. The angle. It looks cozy. board game with Emma still. It's called Ticket to Ride and you have to build railways all across Europe with your little pieces. It's pretty fun. Budapest, Oops, yeah, that's six, and finally I managed to complete Riga to Budapest. So that's a very direct route. Yes, Emma won because she studies logistics, so it's not really fair. <laughs>